Right, now you have bought your account and you want to get logged in into MT4 or MT5. I'm going to show you how to select the server, how to use your credentials and then log in. So after you've bought the account, you should actually get an email just like this, where you get the information of your account login number, you get your account password, the starting balance, the broker, the platform, and the server. So what you do then is you download MT4 or MT5 from online, you just Google it or from our website, and then you click on the file button here. From the file button, you click on open an account. And the reason you wanna click on open account is you want to be able to find the server that you're trading on. So in this instance, we are using Using think markets as soon as I type think markets it is there available we click on next and then we want to basically connect with an existing trade account so we copy the login over boom copy the password over boom and then we click on the server and then click on finish as soon as we've done and we've clicked on finish we can see the trade account has the balance on the bottom right hand side there should be a ticker which is the server lag or the server speed rate or the traffic so the ping between the latency of your server and connected to your mt5 and the quotes and then also if you do want to see you can click on this button here journal and it says connected to the account and the account that you've logged into. Now from here, you can click on the button view, you click on symbols, and then on the symbols chart, these are all the symbols that are available on the platform that you are trading. Now, sometimes every single broker, every prop firm or every company has different names with different things. So for example, I trade DAX 40, known as the top 40 companies in Germany. Some, some brokers and some company have them as German 30, some have them as German 40, some have them as DAX, DAX 30, DAX 40. It's all the same, but just named differently. Now, at the end of the day, I know that DAX is an indices. So as soon as I go onto indices, I click on major, and then I can scroll through and see straight away that the German DAX 40 is there. So whatever instrument you're looking for, you can click on the symbols, add them onto your list, and then you can drag and drop them, and then you are able to trade. So if you can't see that, you click on this and then you click on market watch. And then from the market watch window, you should be able to see whatever it may be, drag and drop the pair that you have. And then from here, you are able to see all the markets move from there. You can click here to scroll in and out to see the market movements. And then on here on the left hand side, you can open and close your trade. So episode one was how to buy your challenge and get it through. Episode two is how to log in, how the platform kind of works and get started in your account. Episode three, I'll be showing you how to open and close your trades. And then potentially on the final episode on episode four or a start of a new series, I'm going to be doing a 100k challenge all the way through documented on this channel for you guys to see me win, lose. It doesn't matter but I'm going to document the take journey for you guys to watch here on my funded FX. So thanks for watching. Remember to link in the description below for you guys to join your journey code WChampFX and let's get funded and let's get traded. See you in the next one. Peace.